Well, Christine, gold again. How does it feel? Amazing. It's really exciting to, uh, I guess, to do it again. I was really nervous for this year to try to repeat last year's performance, but it's nice to do it again, I guess. Was the pressure on this time, or? <laughs> yes, the pressure is definitely on. Um, I heard from a few people that they were like, oh, you're going to repeat that last year's? And I was like, I don't know. But, no, it, yeah, the pressure was definitely on. <laughs> yeah. So now after three worlds, well, what does make Zeget different from, for example, Poznan or Halifax? Um, every year, everything is different. Um, your preparation is different. Um, the course is definitely different. The conditions are different. Um, I don't know, every year is its own sort of separate entity. Um, but I don't know, this year it's, I think it's especially nice because we became part of the Paralympics for 2016. So it's, it's that much more exciting to, yeah. to participate and that much more exciting to, to reach for that five years from now. Yeah. Let's talk about the race. Um, is it one big piece, 200 meters as fast as you can, or are there several pieces? Yeah. Can you divide it up? <laughs> um, I'm not sure I can divide it up, but um, it's more or less, for me, um, a focus on the finish line and just pushing myself as hard as I possibly could to get to that finish line as fast as I could without, like, I, I don't hear much. I don't see anyone else's boats. I just give it as much as I can. And there's, to me, there's always things that happen that sort of break it up for me. Um, in this last race, I... I caught my paddle on my ama, the uh, pontoon on the side of the boat, um, about halfway through the race and sort of panicked for a second, but calmed down and kept going. So that broke up about half of my race for me. Yeah. And while you're racing, do you think of something? Is it only the finish line or do you think of something else? Maybe someone special, but are there other thoughts? Um, <laughs> other thoughts. There's a million thoughts. Um, most of it's just the finish line. Um, there's also the voice of my coaches and my coaches throughout the years that come back and, okay, stretch out, reach down the lake. You know, the things that they've told me um, in training come back and like, okay, I got to make sure I'm doing this right. So I do hear the words um, of my coaches, um, Jeff Van Horn, Christine Bain, uh, Dave Robertson from back home. Um, and I, I hear them. I guess yelling at me in my head but yeah no that's what I think about <laughs> yeah because I can imagine you also must be you know a wonderful example for lots of women in Canada um, why do you think it, it's a fantastic sport and, and how would you like to well encourage them <laughs> how would I like to encourage them just come and try I guess is my my biggest encouragement um, it's nice to see, you know, as the sport has grown and, and over the past few years, we, we have more and more women coming out to try and we have, um, you know, just more people involved in the sport, which is really nice um, to see. However, we can always have more and we love to see people come out. Um, I think there's a, a misconception that it is a dangerous sport um, because of the water. Um, a lot of people with disabilities have trouble getting past the water aspect. Um, but you have to know that that's, I guess that that's, they're safety boats for a reason, they're safety precautions. <laughs> We're not going to let you drown. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, I, I just want people to come out and try. Yeah. Are you a good swimmer? I'm a fantastic swimmer. <laughs> I've tipped more than enough times I learned how to swim real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've tried it many times, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have more than a few times. Uh, well, great. Hey, Christine, thank you very much for your time in this interview. Thank you. No, 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 no,